What is up guys, you got Not The Worst here, bringing another Black Desert online video. Um, before we jump into what we're talking about today, I did just want to tell you about MMOTimer.com, which is a really neat tool to track your bosses when they're coming up and which bosses they are. Works for all servers, so if you haven't checked it out already, go ahead and head on over and take a look. Now, for what we are checking out today, we've got some updates to the Global Lab server um, and some pretty interesting things and some other things that are kind of whatever. Uh, so let's take a look at what we got going on. First of all, the rage, rage Absorption critical hit rate will now stack with other, other buffs. So an example they're using is Maywa's General Apricot uh, crit buff will now also stack with the crit rate buff from the Rage Absorption. That uh, also now work has always worked with AP, DP, and Evasion. It won't stack with attack speed, casting speed, or movement speed. So we have that. Some item updates. You can now see the Black Star weapon in the die window. However, you still can't die it. Um, we've added new furniture, Kudum lighting, and Nuver statue, which I have to assume drop off of the bosses, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, it doesn't clarify, but that would make sense, so there's that. Uh, UI, you can now turn on and off the feature that displays the knowledge rank that you have on a monster. We actually don't have this uh, on our servers just yet anyhow, but there is an update coming, which was in the KR version and also announced on the Global Lab previously, where when you uh, are over a monster, it'll show what knowledge you have on it already, so you don't have to keep going back and forth to your H window. That feature can now be turned off. Uh, we got bookmark feature added to adventure logs. Uh, you can put a bookmark on any page of your adventure log. You can access it, your adventure log, and then you'll go straight to that bookmark page. You can only insert one at a time. This will be pretty handy if you're working on a particular quest and you don't like clicking the arrow three or four or five times every time to get back to the page you were looking at previously. So little quality of life. This one I'm pretty excited about since I've been spending a lot of time on the Elton rotation in history lately. History Ruins has been extended. I don't know how much it's going to affect Elden Rotation specifically, but it's definitely going to impact main rotation. Uh, lore written for this is we have an old wall within the ruins broke, revealing a path deeper into the ruins. So more players will now be able to grind within the ruins. So it'd be pretty cool to see two, maybe even three possible main rotations that pull out uh, somewhat similar trash loot. Um, personally, I like playing the RNG game with Elden Rotation, and I doubt it's going to impact that one. But uh, we'll have to see how it plays out. Uh, pretty exciting nonetheless. And kind of ties in with how they just recently reworked Aukman as well. Um, makes sense for the game overall. You just have more players reaching that point of progression in the game where you can uh, actually grind these spots. So obviously they're getting more and more populated. Uh, I don't think I've ever walked into an Aukman portal and not seen at least two other people already in uh, Aukman. Histria, not, not as much. You can find an open server fairly easily. Uh, especially on Elton rotation, main rotation, you still can kind of easily, but uh, this will make it even easier for sure. Other monster updates we got. Ash Forest Monsters AP has been increased by about 10%. That's a little scary considering uh, the requirements for that zone already, so we'll have to see how that plays out. And they will also have less delay between attacks. Um, here we got a pretty cool quality of life update. While fishing, a new feature allows you to discard items depending on its grade, and it, that has been added. You can throw away and keep and keep what you can throw away and keep is decided by your fishing level at apprentice it's white which is normal skilled is green at professional you can choose up to blue and artisan you can choose yellow um, this will be kind of interesting to see i have to imagine it doesn't count towards ancient relics because obviously if you turned that on to throw away green items since you want you wanted to conserve and just catch your blue and uh yellow fish overnight or something along those lines uh green is going to be ancient relics so i'm not entirely sure if it's going to affect that uh, i would think it doesn't because if it does that's a huge oversight and makes it kind of worthless obviously since afk fishing ancient relics are kind of what you're looking for for the most part there so we'll just have to see how that comes out um, on that note too, keep in mind this is just global lab it's not always 100 percent exactly what ends up at live servers it's usually pretty close if not exactly what ends up on live servers typically they test it on the, the lab servers for a week or two then it'll hit the kr servers for a week or two and then go out globally um, the ones that tend to take a little bit longer are usually the pve class buffs that they're going through uh, we don't have any in this global lab update but i'm expecting another one in the week or two for whichever class is going to be revamped next uh, those ones for whatever reason seem to sit on the kr ver uh, servers for a few extra weeks than these types of updates so yeah expect to see these in maybe three weeks or so uh three to four weeks for uh naeu and other servers as well uh, so that is it for this video be sure to like it if you did enjoy it if you are new to the channel be sure to subscribe so that you'll get notifications when new videos go live and if you do want to catch me live be sure to check out the twitch page it's in the description down below you can head on over to the twitch channel there drop a follow so you get a notification of when we go live and also there's a schedule that's posted on uh, 
on that page and on Twitter as well so that you can see what days we will be streaming um, and video uploads are all the time. So there, those are always there. And with that said, that is going to be it for this video. I want to thank everybody for watching and I will see you next time.